Hey everyone, if you want to learn how to make this delicious bumbap in under an hour, keep watching. Pause here if you want to grab all the ingredients to this recipe. First, we're going to take 3 ounces of nut mayo or wood ear fungus and soak it in room temperature for 15 minutes. After softening, chop up the wood ear fungus and you should get something like this. Then, add 2 pounds of ground pork and 3 tablespoons of our pork flavored soup base and 2 teaspoons of black pepper. Combine everything extremely well in a bowl and mix it all together. Then, you're going to add the softened wood ear fungus into the pork paste and combine one last time. Cover everything up and put it in the fridge. Next, let's blanch the pork spare ribs. Add salt to water and bring to a boil. Take 2 pounds of spare ribs and blanch them in the boiling salted water for 10 minutes. Blanching the pork spare ribs will make sure that our broth is extremely transparent, clear, and free of impurities. Remove the pork ribs and toss the blanching water. Rinse the ribs in cold water, really getting into the opening of the ribs to clean. Strain the ribs from the water and set aside. Next, heat up 2 ounces of oil in a large pot and saute 5 sliced shallots. Add the cooked ribs. Add 3 tablespoons of our pork flavored soup base. Sear the pork ribs for 10 minutes with the lid on medium heat. You want the spare ribs to form a nice crust to lock in all the flavor. Add 1 quart water and simmer on medium for 30 minutes. Make sure to skim the phone on top to remove any impurities. Add another quart of water and add the rest of the half jar or 5 tablespoons of the pork soup base. Of course, adjust to taste, it's up to your preference. Scoop balls of the meat paste into the broth and cook for 15 minutes on medium until they float to the top. And there you have it, delicious bumbap, ready in about one hour. Serve with sliced cilantro, sliced green onion, crispy scallions, and some Vietnamese ham. Enjoy! If you like this recipe, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.